Company and welcome back everyone. I'm out here at COSI joined with Joe and how have things been since you guys reopened on October 1st? Oh, well, we uh, we got a lot of cleaning done. We brought in some new exhibitions that we're really excited for. We uh, have Doc McStuffins and this weekend we just opened Pterosaurs Flight in the Age of Dinosaurs. So there's a lot of stuff going on but it is also October, so I thought I would bring a spooky demonstration for us. I like this, and I like that you pointed out this may not be everyone's favorite <laughs> candy, so there are fun experiments that you can do with things like the peeps that might be left over. Yes, if you, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of these, so uh, what better way to dispose of them than to put them in a vacuum chamber? <laughs> I like so, it. So um, these marshmallows are mostly air, so I'm going to put them inside the vacuum chamber, and then I'll have you flip the switch there. Now, the vacuum pump is moving air out of the chamber. It's never going to take all the air out. There's no such thing as a complete vacuum. But as it's moving the air out, we've reduced the air pressure on the marshmallow candies. And you can see they are <laughs> they're stretching, spookily stretching inside the chamber there. Now, the fun part is the air is uh, expanding that's inside the marshmallows. But if you turn off the pump, and we pull this. Oh, that happened the, in a hurry. Now the air, now the air rushes back in. That air pressure goes back to uh, sea level, but they're never quite the same. Now they're you notice mm -hmm. they're a little bit smaller than they were before because yeah. that air has escaped, and you're never going to get it back. Hmm. <laughs> and I know I've done something similar by putting maybe a marshmallow in the microwave. Is there yeah. any similarity between doing that at home and what we just did? It's similar. They're also, they'll get super big. And you can do that at home, because um, I know, I don't know, maybe you don't have a vacuum pump at your house, but you do have a, vac uh, a microwave. What's happening with that is that the uh, microwave is heating up the water molecules, turning the water into steam, and that is uh, creating internal pressure. And they get really, really big inside a microphone or a microwave. So I just put my pan of <laughs> heat in there, and it, it's just kind of another way to show what's happening here. It also looks pretty creepy. So normally you squeeze these little toys, and it pops out the ears and the eyes. Mm -hmm. Well, what's happening is um, again, I'm reducing the air pressure. We have 15 pounds per square inch, is about this, that's pushing down on every inch of our body, and we don't feel it because we're used to it. But if you were to go into space and take away that air pressure, well, you would look a lot like Panic Pete. <gasps> oh, more reason that we're thankful for those fancy space suits. Yes, and so then... <sighs> he so looks much calmer now. So we're kind of not being real nice to these poor marshmallow candies, but <laughs> you know, that's all right. That's kind of fun. And I like how pressure is a big part of how weather's created yes. as well. So yes, I, that's why I wanted to do this demonstration with you because, uh, you know, we love talking about weather. Yeah, if you understand pressure, you understand temperature, and you understand um, moisture, then you can understand weather because um, uh, the different pressure systems, um, the moisture, amount of moisture in there, that creates our weather. Oh, I love that. And there's always so many fun things going on over at COSI. Now that you guys are reopen, what are the hours that people can look at to come check you out? Yeah, so uh, as always, if you're wondering about our hours, want to get a ticket, uh, you can go to our website, COSI.org. That's where you can also get um, fun activities that you can do at home, and learn about our kits like our water kit, which also ties in with weather, and uh, just generally find out what's happening here at COSI. <laughs> 